Apprentice, you've reached Narshada safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. Any idea where I should start? In this case, the who is more important than the where. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. He leads a cult of idiots. They won't stop me. Of course not, but they still must be dealt with. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion, but you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. How did you convince these fools to help? I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. Oh, Destris, dear brutish Destris. And Riley, so beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me, my other children would like to play with you. Cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Tagasar Jais embarks prize war pairing Swase Ikbus Karadida. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You would be wise to follow her lead. Of course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Palladius has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies, but you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius' legs out from under him. I'll not waste my time. My lord, it's not a waste. The impoverished of Nar Shada aren't powerful, but they are numerous. Palladius needs them. Get them the way Palladius did. Find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. And when another gang rises to take the crate's place? You're right. Taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. What exactly does this entail? The cure to the Rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded, but if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the lower classes. My lord, I wanted, I wanted to apologize for Destris earlier. He was out of line. Don't waste your breath apologizing for that fool. I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You... You radiate a, a power that Palladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. I don't need to rant. My will is done the moment I think it. That's what I mean. You are strong, or Palladius only pretends to be. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius's cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings, 
I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destrus for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Stroll House, for a charity worker named Dagan Stroll. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. If it gets me away from this place, fine. If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius's cult, then yes. How did you find this place? That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius' right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot, we humbly present you with this gift. Already the masses bow to me. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait, I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself, make a ground quake? How would I even do that? It is a long shot, but it might be the only shot we got. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. Where do I find this scumbag? Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector. Not far from Meridian Hall, where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. Kunamo Uban Chone Alipa East in Goto Raka Kem you Amkam Nemnu Namgan Bak Umnok Kijak Laboram Anka Mamni Nika Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam I need to create a ground quake Umnok Inu Memnu Amka Kam Mem Herolak Palak Memua Amgwana Kumia Yang Mem Gamba Paka what does taking bribes from a gangster get you? Promoted? I'm sure they'll understand. I'm Kabina Bek Memno Kimgam. Um look in Umemno. I'm Kakam Mem Herolak Palak. Yan Perlu Amka. Kalami Nayakira. Nebua Ripo. You better follow through on this. Um look in Umemno. I'm Kakam Mem Herolak Palak. Kam Perim Ganam. Bagiyang. Manikikupukam. 
There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! Yeah! What have you done for me lately? There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. And you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength and have sent her to break it. What makes you worthy of leading such a strong people, Palladius? Ah, the deceiver shows her face. Behold, my children, look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. The very ground you stand on responds to my will. Can Palladius do this? What kind of power is this? The world is in don't be fooled! It's a trick! Attack the deceiver! Attack! After thy heist! You? We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. That was only a small fraction of the power I possess. Of course, my lord. We are most unworthy. But before you send us away, you share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. There is only passion. Through passion, strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. It's the same line Palladius fed us. I'm sick of these Sith games. Shut your mouth. The Sith speaks the truth. Besides, this one does what she says. She cured the rot. You're right. My lord, we will do as you say. We will forgive and tell others to do the same. Sith, will you look at this place? Dagon Strell himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd. And neither can Palladius anymore from the looks of it. When will that fool show his face? Soon. If he wants to have any cult left. Real soon. I'm sure of it. I... M my lord. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. Who said they'd kill you? P Palladius' men. They said they'd kill me if I didn't bring you this. It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. Ah, Sif. Good evening. How good to talk to you again. I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? If you're trying to intimidate me, you've failed. Yes, but I think your followers understood perfectly. The truth is, when you first attacked my cult, I was angry, frustrated. And then I realized, you're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact, and all will be mended. I'm not one of your meek little cultists. You lie. You pay. I promise. No tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer. But not too long, or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hut. You're not seriously considering it, are you? 
Chandam jai hai hai e proud ja afleta forte ja fragich wahis. I'm going, Destris, and you're coming with me. You can get yourself killed if you want, but I didn't keep out of Palladius's reach this long just to walk into his grip. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes, but this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. Sith! D Destron, Rachel! I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? Uh, don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. I was prepared to fight through your welcoming committee. Oh, Sith. You've proven yourself more than a match for anyone I'd throw at you. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut is your essence draining rather rapidly. And that hollow sinking feeling, your connection to the Force being severed. Soon, you will be no more powerful than little... Denton here, or Ramona. For that, you will suffer. <laughs> Not so powerful anymore, are we? <sighs> Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I've faced. Oh, forgive me, my... my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Stop your prattling. This cult is mine and mine alone. With all respect, Sith, I know this Eye of Tulak is only one piece of the artifact you seek. Do you intend to give up your search and stay on Nashada? Your master won't allow it. Simply hand control of the cult over to me, and I will be at your beck and call. Darth Zash promised the cult for Destris and Riley, and her word is mine. You foolish idealist! <laughs> well, that was every bit as satisfying as I expected. We're in your debt, Riley and me. Only, the thing is, everyone in the cult looks up to you now. I got what I wanted out of the bargain. You figure out how to run the cult. Um, yes, my lord. I'm sure we'll figure something out. I guess I should go rally the cultists before they lose their fervor. Thanks again. Yes, thank you, Sith. We'd still be hiding in that hole if it weren't for you. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith.
flesh of my flesh. Listen to me. I cannot linger long. It takes too much out of me to appear here. But I must warn you. Your master, Darth Zash, is plotting something. Whatever it is can mean nothing good for you. I killed Scotia. I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not become arrogant. I have seen Zash making her preparations. She's taken two new apprentices, a boy named Khan and a girl named Corin. She's been sending them into the Dark Temple, presumably to confirm that I am gone. I hope you killed them. I considered killing these intruders, but I heard them speak of Zash and her desire that the chamber be secure for her work. Soon enough, Zash herself appeared. She comes every day now, studying the place and performing rituals. You are in danger. What kind of rituals? Minor ones. Preparations for something bigger. Zash knows your weaknesses. You must prepare yourself. An enterprising Sith Lord on Korriban has uncovered a piece of my old armor, my mask. It will protect you against Zash's onslaught. The Sith Lord's compound overlooks the tombs. Go, claim it. Guard yourself against Zash's attack. I trust you will let me know if anything else develops. I cannot guarantee when I will be able to speak with you again. As I said, it is difficult for me to visit you. But I will continue to watch over my chamber in the temple, conserving my energy for when I learn something more. Sith were above petty burglary. I wonder what your master would think if she knew you were breaking and entering. Or did she by chance send you on this little errand? This is my own doing. So I thought. Your master and I hardly see eye to eye, but this isn't her style. Too much risk of getting caught, too little reward. Has all the marks of an apprentice. When Darth Thanaton learns of this, you will be punished. What if I told you that I believe Zash intends to betray me, and that I need your mask to defeat her? Already planning to kill your master? Much as I'd like to see her dead, I don't think you'll be the one. I've killed more powerful Sith than her. I assume you're referring to Darth Skrtir. Trickery. Of Zash's devising, no doubt. I don't think she'll be so forthcoming about her own weaknesses. But, just for my own amusements, let's see these skills of yours. Saran, Vasek, give Sasha's apprentice a proper test. What the John? Oh. You're not all chalk after all. Darth Zash should be very proud. And very afraid. The mask is just an old trinket. But if you really think it'll help you defeat her, take it. I won't fail. See that you don't. I'd hate to have wasted such an artifact on failure. Apprentice, I know you are very busy, but I must speak with you. I have just had the most amazing dream, and it concerns you. You owe me an explanation. You sound unhappy, Apprentice. Have I done something to anger you? You've taken other apprentices. Apprentice, I'm sorry. The Dark Council required that I take more apprentices as a sort of punishment for my suspected involvement in Scotia's death. I should have told you myself, but believe me, these others are nothing compared to you. If they get in my way, I'll crush them. I would not let anyone get in your way. As I said, 
I just had the most marvelous dream, much like the one in which you pacified the apparition in the Dark Temple. Armies of Jedi rose in your path and fell before you. It's the artifact. It must be. The artifact will give you this power. Are you sure it wasn't just something you ate? Only certain individuals, it seems, are properly attuned to the ritual the artifacts describe. I believe the remaining artifacts are on Tatooine and Alderaan. You must hurry and find them. The artifacts are the key to fulfilling your destiny.